Hey folks, th thanks for joining us here today. Uh, one of the things we're going to talk about today is uh, check valves, check tubes, ceiling heads, uh, based on what you want to call them. Uh, all of these are basically a uh, check valve allowing high pressure water and low pressure water uh, to enter and exit the system. Uh, what they all have in common is they all have a low pressure side, which is what we're going to focus in on today. Uh, and in the low pressure side, one of the things we have to do is make sure that we got a nice smooth surface on the face of the check tube and on uh, the low pressure poppet that comes in contact with them. So one of the things we're gonna work on here today is what we call lapping, and we can use uh, lapping paper as we can see here. Uh, we've got three different grades, and in our case, we've got a 360, a 600, and an 800 uh, that we offer our, offer our customers, excuse me. And uh, why the three different grades? Well, it bases on when you look at a check valve face. Now this one's been lapped a little bit, but basically, uh, when you have a face here, uh, based on how bad or how nicked up um, the face is, you may need a more aggressive lapping paper. You could use uh, one of the higher grades, but you're gonna sit there and have to lap a lot longer. So just like any woodworking, use a more aggressive uh, to take away a little bit more material. All right, so today uh, we're gonna start with, because our check valves are in pretty good shape, we're gonna start with the 800 or the uh, finest grade, and you can go with a, a little bit higher uh, if you want to. I've seen guys go upwards of 1500. So what we've got here is a nice granite plate. I recommend using a granite plate. You can get these uh, at McMaster Car. Um, uh, you can also use a plate, uh, plate glass. I know what Flow uses. Um, I like using a little bit bigger surface, and what you're gonna do with this is if you use the sheets from Henco, uh, these do sit fairly well on the paper. You're going to want to use um, some sort of tape. In this case, we got the uh, the painter's tape, and you're going to go ahead and just uh, line that up and run it across the top, breaking it off, making sure that we keep it as flat as we possibly can. It's a good idea to clean uh, that paper as well and run some along the sides here, as you can see, and we'll get that paper on there uh, nice and tight so we don't want that paper moving around uh, when we're doing our lapping. Okay, so as you can see now we're all set. We're gonna take the uh, Hypertherm AccuStream style. And one of the things with lapping, I've seen it done a couple different ways. Some guys will say to do a figure eight. I like to go back and forth. And when you go back and forth, one of the things you wanna do is once you get to the end, you wanna turn it about 90 degrees. And if you always rotate it the same direction, which is clockwise in my case, uh, you're going to go ahead and one of the things we're looking for is to go ahead and get that face and you can see here And what we're going to look for here is a nice nice smooth finish and eventually you will be able to see your reflection Which is really what we're after Okay, so you're going to want to continue with this till you get the desired look that you're after uh, In which case, you know quite frankly, you're going to want to look these are all brand new check valves uh, from the factory They do come lapped which is uh, pretty much a great way to tell what kind of surface finish uh, you want to obtain when you're done lapping. All right, folks, thanks for joining us today. And that concludes this video on lapping of check valves and low pressure poppets. And as always, folks, if you have any questions whatsoever on your water jet, give us a call 1 833 4 Henco.